people, I have a Publix grocery haul for you today. I meal plan. It's like this isolation is making me become a whole new person. Not really, I wish. But I am meal planning, which is pretty cool, slash, I don't know how to feel about it. Because when I meal plan, I like go down a rabbit hole, and then by the end of the day, I have 55 recipes. <laughs> So I'll try to share all of my thoughts and ideas with you as I go through the food. But I went to Publix today um, and it was the slowest I've ever seen it. The shelves were still kind of bare, so I don't know what's going on there. Costco was like fully stocked with everything. I didn't go down the paper goods aisle at Publix, but like even the spaghetti sauce, flour, rice was still kind of sparse. What else? Produce was popping though. They had plenty of fresh fruit, fresh? fruit and fresh food, uh, meats and stuff was stock. Oh, you know what I didn't look at? Frozen chicken. That was not on my list. I did make a list. I did go in with a list. It's like, who am I these days? You know what I mean? Meal planning, making lists and stuff. What else is there to say about Publix? It used to be my favorite place to grocery shop. And I guess I could have gone to like the bigger Publix in my area, which is probably more stocked and all that stuff. But I shop at a smaller grocery store, like a smaller public, so maybe the, I'm thinking that's why it wasn't like as stocked. I, who knows? I don't know what I was getting at. Publix used to be my favorite place to shop. Now I'm just like, ugh, it's all eerie and weird. I don't even think they play music. In, oh no, they were playing music because I was singing along. And when I was singing with my mask, it was like, ugh, I was like sucking it into my mouth. I was like, this is just not a joyful experience as much as it used to be. Okay, my windows are open. It feels like a fall day here in Florida. It is so nice. I did go to Costco. Um, I wanted to go to Costco and Publix on the same day. That didn't happen. So I went to Costco and it's now quite a few days later and I'm going to Publix. I needed milk at Publix. You know, obviously I needed stuff. That's why I went there. So like, don't get on me. Oh my God, I can't believe, you know what I mean? It's food, I needed stuff. So I went to Publix. Without further ado, let's get into this crap. All right, so here is the haul as a whole. I spent, oh, I forgot. I think around $160, the receipts in my uh, grocery bag. Frozen broccoli, I usually pick a ton of this up at, at Costco. And when I was there the other day, by the way, at Costco, I got a lot of fruits and veggies. So I, you know, I didn't need that much at Publix. Moving on, uh, I usually stock up on frozen broccoli at Costco. I don't know what I was thinking. I bloused browsed what's that word blaze i blazed right through that crap in the frozen food aisle so i picked some up at publix not my favorite and the cost is you know obviously a lot more expensive than it would be at costco zucchini boats i'm planning on making like uh quinoa zucchini i shared it on my instagram i'll also try to make like what's for dinner i've been trying to make those videos for you as well when i have like new interesting uh re recipes to share with you it's a really old recipe that i used to make all the time it's from 2014 believe it or not i still have the magazine ripped out in my recipe book the magazine like the magazine page am i making sense oh my gosh we're like 20 minutes in and i've shown you one thing okay i got some strawberries these were a decent price uh, we've already eaten through most of the berries that we got from Costco because we're just obsessed over here. Speaking of obsessed, holy cow, if you saw my Costco haul, I I'm talking more about Costco than I'm about Publix at this point, but if you saw that haul, I think I bought three or four pineapples and I bought two more because can I tell you they were two for three dollars at Publix. I don't think I've ever seen that price. Uh, plus we've already eaten through one and a half pineapples. So there's that. My family is obsessing over strawberries and pine. We could probably live off of this. So delicious, so good. Full of water, full of nutrients. Okay, I got some cauliflower. I've been, uh, they're frozen, two bags of frozen cauliflower. I've been meaning to make Madras lentils. Also get those from Costco. Oh my gosh, Kim, shut up about Costco. But it's so good. Oh, and we haven't had them in a while. They're in my, um, like my food stockpile. And I am really looking forward to eating those one day for lunch and I typically pour them over, you know, rice or cauliflower. So my, or for my kids, I mix it. I do rice and cauliflower. They are none the wiser. Plus I'm sneaking a veg into their little bodies. Uh, I got apples, green apples were out of them. A part of me wanted to grab a third bag, but I just went with the two. This is something special. Okay, this was on my list, but I didn't want the chocolate kind. They're Power O's. They're a toasted rice and bean cereal. So they're on the healthier side. It's a plant protein, gluten-free, four grams of fiber, all that good stuff. My friend was telling me about these and she got the other kind. I don't remember what 
it was, but it was not chocolate. And she said they taste very similar to what she remembers Apple Jacks tasting like. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want to get all over that crap for like, I don't know. I, I eat cereal as like a dessert. My kids definitely don't. Potassium, holy cow, 192 milligrams. Uh, it's got some iron, calcium, vitamin D, protein. Ooh, a good amount of fiber too. Four Four grams of fiber there, so that's nice. All good things that I like to see. The ingredients look pretty nice as well. So if you're looking for like a healthier option, this the brand is Love Grown. That's the only kind they had in my grocery store, but maybe you can find the other ones that taste like Apple Jacks. Let me know how they taste. I'm very interested. I used to get these all the time for my little ones. These bring me back to when I used to grocery shop with Avelina like just me and her and i would open these in the store for her and just give them to her oh i miss the good old days uh, going shopping with the kiddos <laughs> actually i don't miss it not at all as a matter of fact tomato basil these are red lentil snack crisps and these are i mean obviously they're still a chip that's still like oil probably got a lot of oil yeah ingredients red lentil and then second ingredient is canola oil so not the healthiest thing on the planet but as a good chip alternative pretty darn healthy it's got some fiber as well and some protein keep those bellies full my kids okay little interruption you're none the wiser what do you know how long i was gone from the from the camera anyway i got i picked these up okay a friend slash internet friend i guess i've met her in real life so i don't know things are weird these days i follow her on instagram and she said these are her favorite crackers they are gluten-free almond flour crackers with sea salt oh you guys i'm addicted to sugar sugar, chocolate, and salty foods. You know how people are like, oh, I like salty foods, or oh, I like savory food. I like them all. I definitely like them all. These also have a little bit of pro fiber, a little bit of protein. You know, I'm trying to show you the darn nutrition labels if my, if my, why do I keep calling my camera a computer? <sighs> I'm losing my dang mind. I got some fettuccine. I plan, oh, hi. I plan on making Oh goodness, at this point, I don't even know what I'm making with fettuccine. I think Tuscan chicken, but don't quote me, who the heck knows. Jasmine rice, I got a lot of it. Oh, we've been out of rice, and when we're out of rice, it's not a good time over here. <laughs> Actually, it's fine because we just use potatoes and stuff, but jasmine rice, I feel I wanted to buy more bags of this. I also have no idea what kind of rice I buy. I mean, I do know Publix brand rice, normal, but when the rice section is completely bare, I'm like, why well, do I have, I have no idea? So I bought enriched rice. I think it's long grain or no, this is extra long grain. I don't know how to cook this. Do I cook it like normal rice? One to one ratio? No, two to one ratio. See, I don't even know anything. I know nothing. Actually, it is one to one in the instant pot, which I don't even follow that rule. So I don't know why I'm talking about it. I got pita breads. These were like a dollar. It was crazy. However, what I couldn't find, uh, the reason I bought these was because I wanted to make falafels. And I have seen the falafel like in a box mix before and I've made it that way. Um, I usually get it from my nutrition store, but I haven't gone there in months. So gone again. Now I'm back. Back streets, back. All right. Okay. I want to make falafels. I know I can make them from scratch from like garbanzo beans and a bunch of herbs, but guess who doesn't have herbs? Guess who doesn't know how to keep herbs alive? So I don't know what I'm going to do, guys. I'm just going to think on it for a while. Probably throw these in the freezer. So when I do find some falafel mix, I, I will make them. Um, oh, okay. Water chestnuts. I got these because I want to make, oh, dang. What's it called? It's like either Panda Express or P.F. Chang copycat recipe. It's like lettuce, some kind of let chicken. Oh, it's ground chicken. I don't know what it's called. I'll try to put it on the screen. Lettuce wrap, some kind of lettuce wrap. Let's be real. My kids aren't going to eat it with a lettuce wrap, so I'm going to top it over rice. I will eat it in a lettuce wrap. Probably, maybe. I don't, we'll see how it tastes. I don't know. People rave about it, so I'm going to try it out. I also needed enchilada sauce. I can't remember what. Oh, tamale pie. I'm gonna make tamale pie with, uh, I have cornbread in my pantry that I've been dying to make. Also, this sweet chili sauce, it's Iron Chef. I have no idea, I've never bought this kind before. They were out of the normal kind that I get, sweet chili sauce, my kids love this. They just like it plain over rice. I also have a salmon recipe with this, some soy sauce, a squeeze of orange juice, and uh, top that on salmon, and it's delicious. You just 
bake it in the oven for a few minutes. Salmon cooks really quickly. This is my favorite sauce of life. I no kidding, when I make taco salad, this I use this as a dressing. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Plus, who doesn't like tacos? Um, I throw this on all of my taco needs. I also needed some spices. I've got some cumin here. I have some ginger here. The spice selection was getting a little bare too. And then I have some curry powder. Uh, is that it? Yep, those are all the spices. Great, wonderful. I do want to make this curry dish. I don't know what it's called, guys, words. I don't know names of dishes, I just, oh, the chicken Thai curry dish, that's, that's what it's called. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll I think I actually have shared it with you. Uh, maybe I'll share it with you again. It's super simple, easy, family favorite crowd pleaser. If you're pleasing crowds these days, you're probably not. Kid pleaser? Eh, I wouldn't say that either. Okay, to I needed some sesame oil. I decided to go all fancy and get the toasted kind. I'll probably regret that. Who knows? Uh, rice wine vinegar also on my grocery list for some recipes that I need. And then, oh, I'm making something with beef which is also a copycat. I think P.F. Chang's again? I've never been to P.F. Chang's or Panda Express now that I'm thinking about it. Typically don't like uh, Chinese takeout because it always makes me feel really crappy. Alex always asks to get Chinese takeout and I'm like, oh no, pass. We always spend a, and we always end up spending at least $40 and it just makes me feel like garbage. So I'd rather pass. Anyway, the copycat recipe I think needed this, the Kiko Man uh, brand specifically, so that's what I picked up. Also, oh my gosh, I always ask my kids like, you know, what do you want me to pick up from the grocery store? Wentworth wanted tater tots. <laughs> I don't know why. This is not something we typically eat, uh, but he asked for them and I said, okay, oh, and you know what else? Oh my gosh, that's probably why he wanted them. I think I watched, that is why, holy cow, he is so funny. Like a week ago, I watched something with him. What is it? The BA Test Kitchen with Claire. She did her gourmet tater tots. That's it, guys, we watched it together. That is so funny. Anyway, she made these and that's, I guess that's why he asked for them. So delicious. She really hyped them up, I guess, in his mind. Peanut butter pretzels. These are buy one, get one free. One of the only things that I bought that was buy one, get one free from Publix, I might add. Um, and these are always a crowd pleaser as well. A kid pleaser, I should say. Well, let's be real, my kids are a crowd. Hot buffalo wing pretzels. My kids also really enjoy these as well. They are spicy. Uh, for some reason, my kids could care less. <laughs> I also needed some beans, black beans, red kidney beans, and then I got some cannellini over here. All kinds of beans. And you know what, even the bean selection was looking kind of sad, so I'm happy to grab whatever. I mean, they didn't have a limit on anything per se, but I mean, they kind of did because you can only buy as much as there was on the shelf. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, I got some canola oil. I've been out of that for quite some time. So it's just nice to have a spray. I was looking for the coconut oil because I know Target has it, but you know, I didn't want to go to another store. So I'm just going to settle for this one for now. Uh, I got some ground chicken. I know for a fact uh, Publix used to sell this uh, in a frozen round of it. I couldn't find it anywhere. I even asked an employee and I guess they no longer sell it that way. So I got it fresh. Ugh, how much was this? Too much, too much is the answer. I also got some butter, we're out of this. We use the Earth Balance. This is a dairy free, it's a spreadable butter. That's what we like, even though, you know, I definitely not dairy free. Hi, whipped cream, hi. These I'm sure have dairy in them. Oh my gosh, speaking of dairy, what are we gonna do with these? Oh, only making the best thing in the world. I thought for a fun Sunday breakfast, we could make monkey bread. One time, guys, the very first time I had monkey bread, I slept over one of my friend's houses, must have been middle school or something, and her mom made monkey bread. And I said, I wanna be that kind of mom when I grow up, you know what I mean? When Have you guys ever had that moment? Like as a child, you're over your friend's house. I've had that moment multiple times, like I wanna do that that when I'm a mom or I want to do that when I'm older or whatever. So this is one of those things and she made monkey bread and I just thought it was the most amazing thing I've ever had way before Pinterest, way before anything. And when I become, when I became a mom, sure enough, we made monkey bread. You know what? Before I became a mom, I ate my sorrows in monkey bread. It is that good. Oh man. 
something about it just tastes so good. They were also out of the Publix brand. Uh, oh, these are flaky layers. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, well, made a mistake, kissed a snake. How many dishes will it take? What's that rhyme? It's like jump rope. Made a mistake and kissed a snake. How many wishes, wishes did it take? Oh, one, two. Oh, you guys, bringing me back to the good old days. All right, moving on. <laughs> Who's still here? I got some French vanilla. Doesn't that just look good? Will someone make me a cake that looks like that? I'll eat it all, swear to the heavens. I will eat every single bite of that and then I'll ask for seconds. <laughs> I, these were, oh, you know what? These were buy one, get one free as well. Did I need cake mix? No. Did I buy it? Crap, yeah, I did. Because I have no impulse control. Actually, I do. I didn't buy Nutella. Okay, I also got some whipping cream. I do need this for a recipe as well. Can't remember which one. If I remember, I'll throw it right here on the screen for you. Some salami. We've been out of this. And I have some, some like special bread in the freezer. It's like rye bread with caraway seeds. Oh, my God favorite so I'm gonna pull that out and I love it with salami and Abelina loves 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 salami I just like to roll up salami for the kids for lunchtime great for them and then finally the milks I got some rice streams over there and then almond vanilla sweetened sweetened almond vanilla milk oh and the other day at Costco I got the pulled pork and Alex specifically asked for it on the Hawaiian rolls. Well, I didn't buy the Hawaiian rolls from Costco, which are a screaming deal, by the way. So I thought, oh, well, I'm at Publix. I might as well get this, spend a fortune on it. But you know what? It'll feed us all. Everyone will be happy, probably maybe except for me. Whenever I eat those, like they're so good. Let's look at the nutrition facts because they're definitely not so good for you. Like this is the kind of thing where you don't want to look at the nutrition facts because you know Whatever you see on the back of this is not gonna make you happy. All right, let's go. I love you, baby. Okay, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this grocery haul. It was larger, but somehow, whoa, what is that? Somehow, I don't know. Somehow I feel like, what are we gonna eat for dinner? I still don't know. Maybe I don't know because I have so many options. And I'm thankful that I have those options. Thankful that I have space in my house for all of this food. Uh, it'll be quite some time before we go out again. Well, I say quite some time, but probably still two weeks. When you feed a lot of mouse, they eat a lot of food and you run out of it quickly. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you're having for dinner tonight. I would love to get some ideas from you. If you want to, subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.